So hello everyone. So this video is about tobacco self-production. If you want to smoke your own tobacco, you can just grow your own plants, dry them and smoke them. But what if you don't like the taste or the smoke from this tobacco? So this is what I want to show you today. It's how to improve your tobacco, how to get it taste better. So the first thing to consider is uh, the variety that you will use. I will only use Virginia tobacco. This variety is not resistant to the mosaic virus and uh, this forms these characteristic dots on the leaves. So I've read this article about this uh, mosaic virus and it claims that the virus will uh, decrease nicotine content and chlorophyll content, but, which is good, but it will also increase the protein content, which might be bad. So, I'm not sure about this, maybe it's true. I will, I will just put the link in the description below. So, the second important thing to consider is uh, the maturity state of the leaves. If you use green, uh, fresh, sprouting leaves, they will, contain, they will contain a high amount of chlorophyll, a high amount of nicotine and a high amount of proteins which will make the tobacco more harsh. If you uh, use old leaves, yellowish leaves, you will have a more smooth uh, smoke. So this is one important point. Um, the third thing is drying. Drying should take as long as possible without letting the tobacco rot. This will allow to reduce the chlorophyll content and make the smoke smoother. For example, this leaf has been drying too fast. You still see the green from the chlorophyll. Last thing to consider, but not least, is the fermentation. The fermentation process is claimed to reduce the ammonia content of either the tobacco or the smoke. I don't know. Um, it may be linked to the protein content of uh, the tobacco leaves, but I'm not sure about this. The only thing that I'm sure about is that smokers seem to prefer fermented tobacco than not fermented one. Whatever the reasons might be. There is a last thing that I want to mention. It's nicotine absorption by the body. Uh, just as cocaine, the nicotine will enter the body more easily if it's in an alkaline environment and less easily in an acidic environment. This could be important for my research. Now I just want to show you some experiments that I want to share with you about uh, what I said before. So here I've got two different piles of Virginia tobacco leaves and I think both of them are ready to harvest. So, the only difference, I believe, between these and these is the soil quality and these one had more nutrients than these ones. So, you can see these ones are more yellow and have more green on it and they began also to dry out here. And these ones had less nutrients and are pretty much white and they began to dry out here. So you can see that there is quite a difference between the leaves just by changing the growing, growing conditions. These leaves are now dry but you can see that there is still a difference. These were the yellowish uh, leaves and these were the white leaves. And if we compare both, you can see the white leaves are still whiter than the yellowish leaves. And the yellow leaves now have a nice brown color. So I'm not sure if these uh, gray dots here 
a good sign I think I believe not so you can see here gray dots I think this is not a good sign maybe after fermentation this will disappear maybe they dried a bit too rapidly but uh, these ones don't have these uh, gray dots so I don't know what I will do now is put them through this machine and uh, give it to a smoker here we can still see a difference so this one is more white and this one is more brown so the results are that white and brown or yellow tobacco are quite similar they are not very harsh they are quite sweet and the white tobacco is even sweeter than the browner one so what I will do try next is use this white tobacco and try to fermentate it and see the results so see the color change and see uh, if there is any change in taste and uh, in harshness. So next I want to ferment this tobacco. This is a light tobacco and I will ferment it only by using sugar, water and heat. I will measure everything with the scale but the measurements are arbitrary. It's just to know, to have a kind of reference to do this later again. So here is the fermented tobacco and here is the original one. I've let it 12 hours inside of my fermentation box. It was too moist so what I had to do was take the cover off uh, just to let the water evaporate but then it dried completely out so yeah. Um, but we can see there is a difference in color. If I put this over here, you can see there's a difference. So, last time that I've tried to ferment the uh, tobacco, it, I think the fermentation was not right. Uh, the tobacco did not smell like good tobacco, but more like mushrooms. And so I will do it again, but this time I will press the tobacco between two wooden planks. These are oak wood planks and this will regulate the moisture content because the wood will soak in a small amount of water and release it if it's necessary. necessary. So um, I already tried this out and it was for me the best method that I had to ferment tobacco.
Now I've let it soak for a while. And I've put some between these wooden planks. One last question is, are these parts of the leaves smokable? I've heard that they contain a lot more nicotine than the rest of the leaves and so we'll try out to wash them out to reduce the nicotine content, see if it's smokable. These are more than 18 hours of fermentation. I've got different versions of my tobacco. I've got the fermented one. This one smells better than the natural one. Got also the other fermented one that was between the both wooden planks. I got a soaked uh, branch, uh, soaked stems like this one, but uh, that soaked in the water for about uh, one night, and not soaked branches here. Uh, so big pieces and this small powder. This is not soaked tobacco, so this will be very harsh I think and very rich in nicotine so this is all for the moment I hope you all enjoyed and I'll come back to you in a few days to do the testing of all these tobacco qualities I might say um, I will give them to a smoker and see what uh, what he thinks about it <laughs>